Hello everyone, I was recently asked how to create loop with Typeflow and if it's possible to loop it uh, to the infinite in 3ds Max. And I saw there is no possibility with Typeflow, but uh, I discovered a method to do this effect and I will show you how. So here we have a very simple animation and, uh, and uh, what we want to do is to loop this animation maybe between the frame 25 and frame uh, 150. We therefore want to go to frame 150 and return to frame 25. So we'll now add a tie looper modifier. We have our start frame and frame, frame number for the blade, the curve editor, and if we want to loop at the beginning or at the end. Then I put my starting frame 25 and the end frame 150 and select look to static. We see that we start from the frame 25 and uh, that we go to frame 150 with a blend of uh, 15 frame. We will increase the number of blend frame to have a smoother animation 50 and play with curve to smooth the blend. We can see that from frame 100 it will slowly return to the initial position but we want the transition to be made from a uh, frame uh, 150 so we are going to add 50 in total to arrive at 200 frames and now we can see that we go to frame uh, 150 and we return to frame 25 in 50 frames i just adjust my time configuration between uh, frame 25 and uh, 200 and see if it works perfect we now have a perfect loop. So here's the method if you need to do a single loop, you can just export your rendering and shift your frame to after effect. If you want to loop back your animation, but uh, if you need to do an infinite loop into this max because uh, you may want to play with other elements in your animation, I will show you the method I found. Okay, so I don't need the turbo smooth for the moment, we can reactivate it later. So we have our Typhlo setup and I will go to open editor and I add an export particles. I select Tie Cache, the number of frame in my loop and my output. Now we can generate the Tie Cache files. Okay, so I have my Tie Cache here but I didn't export my loop. Then I will go to my Typhlo setup, copy the loop all, and paste in the tie cache. We can see that uh, the loop does not work. To see it, we will just go to the display tab and deactivate use GPU instancing. And now we have the loop on the tie cache. Now what we have to do is re-export this animation in Alembic, then export selected, loop, OK. We are now going to import our Alembic. I rotate uh, the animation the right way. So now I have my loop in Alembic which work with it, uh, use the tie looper modifier. And what is cool with the Alembic is uh, that you will be able to play with the animation key in the playback graph. So I put frame uh, 25 here and further frame 200. And we can change the speed of our animation if you want. It's really cool to adjust the speed. And now that we have the two key, we will be able to select them and create a loop. I will first expand my timeline and I select my frame. I go to Graph Editor and Track View. I go to Object Alembic. I delete frame 0 because it's useless uh, in our animation. We will start with uh, frame uh, 25. I don't need any smoothing on my curve, so I will uh, pass this smoothing to linear. And then I just select Playback Frame. Now edit, control, out of range type. And now I have a different type of animation 
and uh, for all effect, I will just select loop and click on OK. We can see on the graph that we have now a perfect infinite loop. And now if I go to my timeline, we can see that our animation uh, loops back to infinity. It's what we want to create. Now if you want, you can uh, add a turbo smooth and render your animation. I have not lied guys, <laughs> it's a bit strange, but uh, it works. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. So don't hesitate to subscribe and give a thumb up if you want, if you liked. You can also follow me on Instagram. And I will be back soon with a new tutorial on close simulation and cheering this week, I think. So, see you soon. Bye.